In this video, I am going to talk about my 10 favorite story games where your choices actually have consequences. Now, there are several titles that don't just pretend that your choices have meaning. Instead, they actually take into account how you choose to play your characters and adjust the game accordingly. As a result, it makes every big decision feel incredibly important, as at any moment, you could irreversibly change the in-game universe or alter the main narrative. So let's look onto the first game on this list. As Dusk Falls is all about choices. After all, the main thing you do in the game is to make decisions that heavily impact how every scene plays out. Even choices that seem small sometimes end up being really important. So, you get plenty of influence over the main storyline. The tale revolves around two families who meet on one fateful day in 1998. The first half of the adventure shows what happened on that day. The second half is set many years later and shows how the events impacted those involved. It is a really well-done interactive story game. The decisions you make along the way really feel impactful and there are many possible outcomes. You really grow to care for the main characters you play with and even some of the side ones. The graphics are a combination of beautifully static-drawn characters with 3D environments, and the fact that you can play the game together with up to seven other friends, either locally or online. Stop! Heavy Rain is an interactive narrative adventure that revolves around a serial killer called the Origami Killer. You play as a few different protagonists committed to figuring out the identity of the killer and putting an end to their crimes. Their level of success depends on you. Your choices and button-pressing skills impact how each protagonist's story plays out. As a result, there are several different endings you can get. The game is really well done, and I loved the characters in it, even the bad guy. The game made me really think about what I would do if I had to make the same choices. I highly recommend this game if you love a good storyline and a murder mystery. This game is really unique. The story is touching, characters are likable, graphics are okay. Well, this is a 15-year-old game and voice acting is top-notch. I will not spoil this game for you, but I'm just going to say it has 17 endings, which is mind-blowing. Every available man to find Ethan Mars. If he moves... The Wolf Among Us was the first ever Telltale game I played. The game's pacing, writing, atmosphere, and general mythos are all top-notch. All of the characters are interesting, and it's honestly fun figuring out and identifying which folklore the character originates from. If you like mysteries, violent more fiction, detectives, and their atmosphere, this game is for you. It does not have much to offer in terms of gameplay being rather a simple point-and-click detective game at its core, but the visual design of this game is so beautiful. I have to say, this game has the best comic-style cell shading application I've seen in games so far. The music is so soothing and alluring, and the characters and story are so captivating that you will find yourself on a cliffhanger at the end of the first episode in no time, hungry for continuation. It is a mature story that takes place in a noir setting. The Wolf Among Us is a gritty take on various fairy tale characters that have somehow escaped into our world and are secretly living among us. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three foot toad. Telltale's The Walking Dead is more of a collection of games than a single one. This is because there are four seasons of this narrative adventure experience, along with a couple of spin-offs. The main seasons focus on young Clementine, who finds herself amid a zombie apocalypse. Her primary goal is simply to survive. To accomplish that, you need to make a litany of difficult decisions that impact her and the people around her. They don't all have a significant effect, but the biggest ones usually do. Though it feels more like an interactive story than an actual game, just like The Wolf Among Us, it still got me from the first minute. There is not much gameplay in it. You walk here and there and talk to other people, and every now and then you need to make choices. For most of them, there is a short time limit. There are a lot of likable and not so likable characters. Some people may argue that your choices don't actually matter, and I'd say they are not wrong, but they are not right either. The choices you make in the game may not have an impact on the end itself, but they will have an impact on how the story gets told to you. Will you become a respectable man, or will you be a pain in the arse throughout the entire game? The choice is yours. I want to build a fence. Yeah. Beyond Two Souls is a must-play. Even now in 2024, 11 years after the first release, it's still up there with what modern story interactive-driven games have to offer us. What's special about it is the game's ability to keep you glued to the screen from start to end. A truly original story that, for the most part, is unpredictable and combines elements of suspense, drama, emotion, and action, often all at the same time. Some of the best and most fitting voice acting that syncs well with the scenes and cutscenes in the game, all tied together with a great soundtrack. This game is simply amazing. One of the best games I've ever played. 
great portrayal of the main character and what she had to go through. The story is suspenseful. It's a very exciting game, with many possible endings. I should be flattered. Yeah, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. Hitman, while not particularly thought of as a choice-based game, Hitman 3 is entirely dictated by how you decide to play. On every level, there are several ways to take down your targets, and some are very different from one another. For instance, in the Dartmoor mission, you can conduct an entire murder investigation, including talking to suspects and finding clues, and it's all completely optional. Plus, you're required to make a big choice at the end of the game. That's one big clue to look out for when it comes to the conclusion. There's even a secret ending to unlock, making for a total of three. Granted, you are still killing targets, but the maps throw in some cool moments like the murder mystery or the 10 targets you have to find on your own without any help from Diana. Life is Strange is an episodic adventure game, slightly similar to games of the Telltale series. Your choices affect the outcome of the game and make subtle and huge changes throughout. You feel empathy for the characters in the world, and while handling mature themes such as depression, the game grips you to your seat. It is amazing, a masterpiece. The writers are on par with some of the best TV shows and films out there. It makes you question every choice you make, your own reality. As a player, you actually feel like you affect the relationships between the characters. The music and art design are unique and aesthetically pleasing, which is a nice change from the usual games we play. The voice acting is brilliant. Without spoiling anything, the twists in this game are just wow. Finally, I must end by saying how much I recommend this game. I've experienced nothing like it before. Please try this game if you already haven't. You won't regret it. I really love and recommend this game. The soundtrack is gorgeous and beautiful scenery throughout. The quarry is set in the perfect horror story setting, a summer camp. The camp in the quarry contains several teenage counselors who serve as the playable protagonists. You control them all at different points in the tale. And there is little time to actually manage the camp, as there is something unnerving going on at the place. Instead of running an enjoyable camp, your objective is to stay alive. This isn't exactly easy, as many of your choices in this interactive narrative adventure can lead to deaths. And I honestly think this game is awesome. The story is fantastic, and the choices really do change how the game turns out. It actually makes you think before you make your choices, and it makes you want to play it through again. I would definitely recommend this to anyone looking for a cool single-player game. Oh, and one of the coolest things they have added is the couch co-op option. You can also do online co-op. I can't wait for them to do another one. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The hack of hack, it's quarry. <sighs> Detroit Become Human is perhaps one of the most intense games that deal with player morality and choices. There are three separate stories in this adventure that eventually intertwine. The game is set in a future where androids have become a commonplace feature in day-to-day -day life. Players control three different androids, Connor, Kara, and Marcus. The overall premise is based on the idea that androids might be a thing one day, and if so, what are their rights? Should they be treated as humans? Is it possible they can feel like humans? The game picked up many awards for its story, which delves into what it means to be human, asking the ever-burning question of whether or not machines can feel emotions, Players will be forced to make several choices that will lead to the answers to these questions and start the uprising for androids to be freed from their master's shackles. Until Dawn was released in August 2015 exclusively on the PS4, and the good news is that it is soon coming to PC. It follows the stories of a group of people and pits them against terror and danger lurking behind every corner. Until Dawn is a fantastic option for those who like decision-based games, as every one of the playable characters can live or die depending on the decisions that players make. Although the gameplay has its issues, Until Dawn is one of the best choices for those wanting a true decision-based adventure. The game is a fairly short story game with almost infinite possibilities. It centers around a group of teens that go away to a cabin a year after their friends disappeared there, ready to spend a few nights partying to honor their memory. Of course, this sounds like a disaster recipe, and it is. It's a beautiful homage to horror movies in the same vein. You play as each of these characters through chapters, and the goal is to keep as many alive as possible. But Until Dawn doesn't make it easy, and even seemingly insignificant dialogue choices can have a huge impact later. 
the title prides itself on accurately and intensely conveying the butterfly effect, and oh, does it do it brilliantly. Well everyone, that was all for this video. Now, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Goodbye.